I'm looking for is sprouted acorns. I'm walking along a road that has lots of oaks over hanging over the road and there's tons of acorns around here. Unfortunately, the kind I'm looking for, I'm looking for white oak mostly, but white oak is much tastier. So the deer get them usually. That one is a prime one right there. You can see the, the root starting to come out. Sometimes they get crushed by, uh, by cars on the road, so I try to avoid those, but this is way on the edge of the road. Yeah, they split open, and you can see the root is a little bit green. So it looks like I hit a nice little spot here. It's kind of hard to find the white oak because of the deer. Yeah, I think I'll just keep collecting in this area. If I, if I get these in the fall, hi kitty, if I get these in the fall, I put them in the, in a damp peat moss in a bag in the fridge and they will sometimes have roots six inches long in the spring. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna throw a few in the, in the woods that I'm clearing once I get them started. I'm gonna throw a few in there and then I'm gonna put the rest into other woods that we have that is um, lacking oak where it's a bunch of junk trees uh, transitional trees because of uh, foresting they came through here and just ripped everything out at one point I'm sure the farmer just needed some money and sold off a big chunk of the woods and they didn't leave any seed trees. So the cottonwood trees came in there, the popples. So we got a lot of aspen and just junk trees. So I don't need too many of these, but maybe if I start 20 or 30, new trees, get them in little pots and then just stick them into the woods. And along the road out front, I gotta get some trees there. By the west pasture, that one hasn't opened, but it's cracked. Got a nice little crack on the side, so it'll probably, probably work. opening up good. If I get a little closer to the road, they sometimes look similar, but they're just smashed from a car. That one's doing real good. So, I mean, it takes some patience to grow oak by seed. You know, they'll be, they'll be full grown trees long after I'm dead, but Hopefully my daughter will have this land and can enjoy it, her and her kids. But you don't get trees at all without starting them. All right, I think I got enough. Now, to get these acorns into a bag, I'm gonna use a little bit of starter juice it's 5105, which means it's 5% nitrogen, 10% phosphorus, and 5% potash. 
I'm just going to use a little drizzle of it. And add water, and then I'm going to moisten my peat. I want it fairly damp. I want to keep the acorns nice and moist, not wet, but pretty moist. Same conditions that they would find if they were uh, sitting on a forest floor underneath leaves. It stays pretty damp down there. I collected some, some acorns oh, three, four days ago. And will you take a look at that? That one's pretty much ready for potting. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Smooth move. Oh, there's a root. That one's coming out pretty good. The ones that I put along the road in the west pasture, I want I want all white oaks there, so once they get some leaves on them, I'll be able to identify them better. And I'll pick out the white oaks. I'll throw the red oaks in the woods. Just stick them in the ground in there. If they make it, they make it. All right, I'm gonna get that one off the ground here. So that one's got a nice little root going for it too. And put these two in a, in a cup or something right away. Put the top a little bit open and I'm going to keep it off of the away from the south wall because it, it can get much hotter on the south wall because of the tin. But that's about it. Quick tip on potting an acorn like this. Do not put it under the ground. The only part you want under the ground is the root. So just poke a hole in there. Drop the root into the hole. And then I'll add a little water right away. You got a little bit of starter mix in the uh, fertilizer in the water. That'll wash the the soil up against the root and make sure it has contact with the soil. I'm gonna get help from a cat in just a second. Hi, hi. So, this one's a little more difficult, but it'll still work. If you, if you put the full acorn under the ground, it has a real hard time breaking the the nut completely off. Like this, it'll lift itself up and then it'll it'll shoot out a stem out of the side there and then break that acorn off after a while.